Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall be studying question 3 of exercise 2.5. Now question 3 says, factorize the following using appropriate identities. So using suitable identities, we have to factorize these quadratic polynomials. Now which identity to utilize? That is the important question. Now over here, there are two square terms along with the plus sign. Right, so when we have two square terms a square and b square together with plus 2ab, yes, can you think of that identity? Yes, so isn't it a plus b whole square? Right, now let us check the another question. Now, over here, 4y square is another square term, and one also can be written as one square. So, again, we are having a square and b square, and in middle, we are having minus we can say minus 2 into a into b, right? So accordingly, the identity uh, says the factors are a minus b whole square. Factorize means what? We have to find the factors. This is the product and we have to find the factors. So now over here, this is the product hmm? over here. Isn't it a square minus b square? Yes, in the form of a square minus b square whose factors are a plus b right and into a minus b right so over here what was given to us these were the product in the form of quadratic polynomials and these are the factors which we have to find out right we have to find the factors whole square means what two factors are of plus sign in middle whole square over here means both are minus Yes, a minus b into a minus b and uh, a plus b, a minus b. One is plus, one is minus. So three identities we are going to use. The first identity, the second identity and the third identity to solve these product. How to solve it? We have to find the factors of these product. So let's start with the first part. Now first part is 9x square plus 6xy plus y square right so whenever we have two square numbers a square and b square let us say and with the plus sign in the middle we use identity one to factorize it so this is our product which is given to us and we have to find its factors right using suitable identity now identity one if you compare this product with identity one the first term is 9x square, which is we can say it is a square. y square, we can say it is b square. And in the middle, if it is 2ab, then the factors are a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square means a plus b multiplied two times, right? So the two factors will be a plus b into a plus b. Now let us take the product and see what is our a over here. So 9x square can be written as 3x whole square y can be written as y whole square in between we have 2 into 3x into y that means what 2ab right this was a square a square plus 2ab plus b square so if you compare the product in the identity with this uh, question you will see that a is your what 3x and b is your y and in the middle remember it is always 2 into a into b that's why you got 2 into 3x into y now when you have this product the identity says the factors are a plus b whole square now what is a 3x b is y so isn't it 3x plus y whole square now whole square because it is whole square that means 3x plus y are multiplied two times right so we can say the factors are 3x plus y into 3x plus y, right? Now let us take second part. Over here, the product is 4y square minus 4y plus 1, right? Now over here also two square numbers are there because one can be written as one square. Again, this is also a square number. Over here, minus sign is there. In the middle, we have minus sign, minus 4y. So isn't it a square minus 2ab plus b square identity 2? 
which says if you have the product in this way so the factors will be a minus b whole square a minus b whole square again anything which is whole square that means they it is multiplied two times right now let us take the question 4y square minus 4y plus 1 4y square can be written as 2y whole square 1 can be written as 1 square so accordingly a can be said that a is your 2 by and b is your 1 and in the middle can i say it is my 2 into a into b right where 2 into a a is 2 a 2y and b is 1 so isn't it 2ab right so over here see a is 2y b is 1 right now factors are a minus b whole square a is 2y b is 1 2y minus 1 whole square now whole square means what multiply two times so 2y minus 1 into 2y minus 1 right now in third part we have two terms and if you observe both are square terms with a minus sign in between there is no 2ab over here there is no 2ab right one thing is clear so this is identity 3 when we have two square terms with a minus sign no 2ab is there plus 2ab minus 2ab nothing is there only two terms a square minus b square then it resembles identity 3 and the factors are a plus b into a minus b there are two factors one is with the plus sign and one with the minus sign now first of all let us identify what is your a and what is your b so if you closely see this x square can i write as x whole square and y square upon 100 can i write it y upon 10 whole square so isn't it a equal to x and your b equal to y upon 10 right so from here you got a square is your x square b square is your y by 10 whole square right so you have a square minus b square once you have a square minus b square the identity says the factors are a plus b so let us start a is what x plus b b is what y by 10 then you have a minus b so write down a minus b right so a plus b into a minus b these are the factors of this product which was given to us this was the product we use the identity to find its factors and this is known as factorization clear so this is it children hope you have understood all these questions of question 3 now in next video i will be taking question 4 in case of any doubt please write to me in the comment section i'll get back to you thank you everyone have a great day ahead